Hello, Internet Sister Root. For anyone who basically got an AMD 6700, 6800, or 6900, or 6000 series XT graphics card, a Radeon one, and if you use Linux, you're going to run into a lot of problems, such as the no input signal issue. I've run into that. And it's inc it's incredibly, no doubt, and frustratingly challenging to solve. Now I'm just going to mention this. As soon as XR boots, the graphics pretty much get shut off. There's no way of uh, switching to a TTY, and I've tried that multiple times. Frankly, on here, I'm using Linux, okay? I'm using Linux, I'm not using Windows, because I had to add a PPA and AMD's own drivers, you know, the modules, just to get them working. They don't play nicely with kernel 5.11. They do not at all play nicely with it. On Debian, they just straight do not work, period. So, yeah, that's a big fucking problem, if you ask me. <sighs> yeah, it is. I don't know how many others have actually struggled with this. For getting this fantastic graphics card. It really is a gem. But when it's not working the way you want it to work. And then uh, it works fine on Windows 10 because I've, I've tried it. And no, it has nothing to do with the fact that my machine is over 12 years old. Nothing to do with it. Works just fine. The obvious bottleneck is a PCIe slot. 2.0. That's it, but whatever. That has nothing to do with it. Problem is, it's affecting everybody on Linux. Sometimes on Windows, it all depends. And uh, you just it just shuts the graphics card and you right off and you can't do shit. You have no choice but to, hopefully if you can, switch to a TTY and press Control Delete to trigger a reboot. Is That always works. Well, sometimes it doesn't. Or press the power button and just once, like, and then your machine just shuts down. Hopefully, anyway, without staying the same way. I say it's a fucking utter and complete pain in the ass to have to do that every single time. No, really, it is. It really is. <laughs> I'm thankful I got the, the modules from AMD actually work. And through the other PPA on GitHub, I'm actually, I was actually able to get it working on the latest kernel. So, that's a surprise. It works, but it doesn't work on things that are based on... Anything based on Debian, yes, it'll work. Like, a pop was another... Uh, good luck with that. Seriously, good luck. Uh, AMD's proprietary drivers, modules, are not available on the... Uh, in the in the driver manager, whatever you how do you want to call it, not available in the repository, so you got to get them separately. Took a bit of digging, they found them, and you know digging on the AMD website, you'll eventually come across them on the Ubuntu section. So anything that's pretty much based on Ubuntu is gonna work. Anything not, you're gonna run into problems, and it's just not just impact Debian. I'm not an expert on this at all, you know? So, it affects other distributions too. And, upon doing a little bit of research, quite a few. Quite a few. And that's not good. Uh, on top of that, I tried to, uh, before I had to resort to this HDMI monitor, yes, well, DVI to HDMI because I'm using my adapter. This is what I was using to use my a really old HDTV, an LCD one, that's 1400 by 900, ironically, almost the same resolution as my uh, laptop, Lenovo, which doesn't have AMD graphics. Just putting that back so it doesn't fall on the floor again, because that would be a horrible sight to see. I've had many cables fall, and that was unplanned, too. So. Yeah, that sucks to be experiencing 
no video, no input signal or whatever the heck your monitor says. So if it shuts off in power saving mode, uh, it it just sucks having to uh, deal with that shit. You know, it just sucks. How many times would you uh want to be dealing with that on a daily motherfucking basis? <laughs> Probably not many. It's not to make you want to get rid of your graphics card and sell it off for cheaper. Just dedicate it to a Windows only machine. I know, I've gotten that feeling. Thankfully, I got Windows on a second hard drive, so if I really want to do such a thing, I can just boot, just choose to boot Windows and deal with all the slow shit that Windows comes with. But, no, I'm gonna stick it out with the open source. I've been doing it for 17 years, so that's no mystery or nothing new to me. And this graphics card, holy fucking shit. <laughs> Damn it. I can only imagine if I never used Debian before and I was uh, using Arch or whatever the fuck distribution anyone uses because they're all amazing. They're all amazing. They all got their pros and cons. I would have probably been flipping lids. Oh, really? Flipping lids. That would have been good anyway. Oh. I can't believe I didn't connect this up and use this as a webcam. Oh, well. <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't hooked up and why I wasn't looking at it. I was looking at that instead of the... Oh well. Whoops. Anyways, if you look at the video, see how sharp it is. That's a filter I've used. Because, I don't know what it is. This camera got blurry ever since I took the infrared filter out of it. So, I guess scratch the lens. <laughs> I don't know, but it seems to clear it up. Anyways, uh... Yeah. It sucks. And I feel for anyone that has this gra this series of graphics card that's on Linux. And until AMD provides some proper modules in that, that can easily be downloaded offline and run from the command line, you know what I'm talking about. It's not difficult to do that. Deb, package, whatever the fuck, and it'll install. Then, uh, without having to resort to downloading it, because... God forbid you actually install a Debian system that's got network connectivity and you can't configure it because it shuts out the graphics card during the installation. What else are you supposed to do? You can't get it installed. <laughs> yeah. Well, why do I say God forbid? Satan forbid. I'm agnostic. Universe forbid. You, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. That sucks. I couldn't even get to that stage on uh, set, trying to set up Debian on this son of a bitch. Formerly a Chromium OS, but that won't work with the graphics card either. So, yippee, that's a bit fun, isn't it? That's a bit fun. Wasn't able to get that working either, so I had to uh, scrap it. Yeah, so much for having a USB portable Chromebook if it's not going to work on the main machine. Hmm. If only mine had uh, two PCI Express slots. If it did, like two graphics slots, well, I'd be able to put my other older graphics card in and uh, use that as a second display. And yes, the primary one, or whatever the heck, if I had two displays, would shut off and this one would remain on. <laughs> well, unfortunately, most motherboards don't have two. And if they do, well, got to corner up a lot of money for that. Uh, anyways, that's going to leave the video blog too. Thank you for watching. Sorry, I keep looking away from the camera. But whatever. Uh, I'm going to probably set it in front of my screen this time, so that's why I don't have to keep doing that. Anyways, peace out. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share the video and feel free to subscribe. Maybe a thumbs up. I don't give a fuck. You want to thumb it up or thumb it up your ass? I don't care. Anyways, uh, that's all. Laters. And, uh, good luck with the graphics card. <laughs>